With all the technology we have today, we're kind of used to having everything at our fingertips and really not having to think too much, right? Well, this next author says that we're losing basic life skills from it. It's actually causing us to procrastinate and put off for tomorrow what we should actually be doing today. And it actually takes away our ability to solve the problems we encounter. Dr. David Almeida is here to expand on this idea. Doctor, thank you so much for coming hey, in. Thanks for having me, Tina. And you talk a lot about decision procrastination nation. What are you really saying about that? I think it's a, a new phenomenon with so much uh, information that are our fingertips. It's actually hindered our ability to make good effective decisions. So we kind of put things off uh, rather than addressing them in effective and efficient ways. And so what do you say, how do we get back to that effective, efficient way? Yeah, and that's what the book's all about, is multiple strategies to try to address what's really critical to a decision, how do you, per, how your performance, how you practice, how you look at things like person, place, and things of your decision to get to the best possible decision for you. And I think we, maybe we all slipped into this without knowing we slipped into this, because I kind of mentioned technology and things that are at our fingertips, but what do you think is really the biggest barrier that's making us so ineffective? I think it's our attention span and, and our inability to sometimes really commit to what the decision is asking for us. That's the problem I find most commonly is that people have problems addressing the decision because they really don't know what that decision is asking of them. So uncovering those really key uh, aspects of it will really help you get to the bottom of it. And we did mention the book. Does it kind of walk us through some of those strategies? Yeah, there's a framework. I, got, I kind of have an interesting background. Yeah. I did a PhD, a researcher, and then I was an, I'm an eye surgeon. And then I also did an MBA and work a lot in healthcare administration. So it's kind of bringing all those facets together to bring in and kind of a novel way to really address those uh, points that come up. Well, how did you kind of go from all of that to, hey, look, everybody, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've kind of landed in this weird place because of all of this information that we have coming at us. How did you end up putting the book together then? Yeah, it was something that over the years I kind of kept coming back to and yeah. I kept really being really interested in and seeing that, hey, you know, these are the common problems I see people facing over and over is that they're putting off the decision because they really don't know what that decision is asking of them. And so that eventually led to putting the book together. And I did say we're talking about basic life stuff. Now, when you're saying decisions, this isn't like, what? What do I want to do with my life? It's basic stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. direct personal or professional uh, uh, relationships, decisions, yeah. conflicts that we encounter in, in our jobs and our lives every day. Is there something, I know we go through all these different strategies, but is there something we can leave our viewers with today that can be a tool we can use now? Yeah, triage. You know, not every decision demands everything from you right at that moment. We're so used to that inbox zero uh, phenomenon. We want to answer something. No, some things you can put off. Some things don't need your time. Your time is better served for some things that are more important. So prioritize and triage. We use that in medicine all the time. What things need to, are going to kill a patient right now or right. need to be addressed. Triage your decisions the same way. So prioritize. Exactly. I love that you just said that, that zero inbox thing that we're like, we have to get to it. I can't have that notification <laughs> sitting there looking you don't, at me. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> but I love that you address this uh, and you mentioned relationships, work, personal life. These decisions are in all facets of our life. It's not just one thing. Absolutely, yeah, and they take so much energy because we get kind of get conflicted, we're convoluted, we don't really know how to address them. So yeah, all aspects can benefit from better, efficient decisions. You know, and I, I've, I've joked before, I said, you know, what would I do without my smartphone, having all the answers right, right in front of me? And at some point, you don't have to make those decisions because you kind of can look it up, Google it, do whatever. We have to kind of get back to that basic part yeah. of us. To, yeah, to be able to process that information, right? Because now it's so easy to have everything, but what do you do with all that uh, data or information that comes to your fingertips? You know, I'm so glad that you took all of your background, doctor, <laughs> and you're, you're putting it to good <laughs> use that all of us definitely probably need a reminder for. So I'm going to remind everyone how they can get the hands uh, on the book. But thank you so much for coming Oh, in. thanks so much for having me, Tina. Appreciate it. All right, you guys, the book Decision Diagnosis, Seven Antidotes to the Decision Procrastination is available now. To order a copy or to learn more about David, visit davidalmedamd.com.